I got me a glizzy. I almost lit it on fire, though, for real. <laughs> Tell my glizzy be staying, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so, um, chat. Falling in Reverse, Ronald, featuring Tech 9 and Alex Terrible. Okay, I have to be honest. I have to be upfront right now. I'm not a huge fan of Falling in Reverse. I think the whole, like, you know, Twitter personality, whatever, TikTok, mad at everyone, gets upset at everyone. It, it can be kind of corny, okay? I'm not going to lie. Um, but I want to give this a, a, an open chance, okay? I, I have been a fan of Falling in Reverse records before. I really like Popular Monster. I was obsessed with that song. Really, I I really want I really want Ronnie Radke to prove me wrong. I literally have his most recent podcast. I forget what outlet he did it with, but I, I want I want I want to be, um. I want I want to be a fan of Falling in Reverse, dude. I, I want this dude to convince me, you know. So yeah, uh, any YouTube frogs by the way hanging out. Thanks for checking out the video. Feel free to drop a like and a sub if you enjoy your stay. It would mean a lot to me. Um, if you want to watch the music video without my reaction, uh, first link in the description. The second link in the description is my Twitch channel. If you want to come through, check it out. That would mean the world to me. Um, and also, the audio is going to be a little messed up. I can't mix the audio perfectly right now because I'm using speakers because I have an ear infection. Usually, I have headphones on it, and I can properly um, get a good EQ uh, or a good mix of the different audio levels. So I'm very sorry. Uh, I will try not to talk over the music um, too much. Okay, cool. Let's get into this, dude. Uh, I'm, I am excited for this. Okay, already, already. I love it. the intro, the fast fucking intro right in your face, dude. I love it. I love it. I was gonna be like, oh yeah, dude. This reminds me of the uh, oh my god, false. It was a false alarm by the weekend. That music video where they're robbing the bank, but it totally switched up. Totally switched up. Uh, the fast, um, you know, basically like almost rapping, right? Love it. I'm I'm here for I'm here for genres getting infused, you know. Got me hooked on coffee and dressed like I'm um, black and white movie extra. Oh, are you talking about Melbourne? Oh shit, dude. Oh shit. Okay, I like it. It's like, it's basically, I, I know probably if this video does well, YouTube commenters are not going to be happy about what I'm about to say. It kind of feels like mainstream breakdowns. I'm not even saying that in a bad way, particularly, right? Uh, it just kind of feels like not like hardcore breakdowns, right? Uh, and I'm sure there's like a way better way to describe this, but this is just kind of how I'm uh, breaking it down in my head. It's not like hardcore, like knocked loose or like counterparts breakdowns, but it's not like, you know, radio rock breakdowns. You know what I'm saying? Even though this is kind of more for a radio audience. And I like it. I can appreciate it. I, I think it's very cool. It's like a, a, a more acceptable. It, it basically brings a lot more people into more subgenres, which I'm here for. We watching a movie? Basically. That's basically what Follow Your Reverse music videos are. What's up, Jackie? How are you? How are you feeling? Oh, sorry. I think you texted me. I missed it. Uh, yeah. The fucking double kick is crazy, though. Their drummer, their drummer got fucking yoked legs, dude. That dude is in the gym, bro. <laughs> Visual's crazy. The uh, I can't hear it super well because the speakers are below my um desk because or like I can't hear it, like perfectly well. Anyway, sorry. Um, but the 
the like scream vocals are honestly impressive. I was not expecting him to have vocals like that. Again, I'm not super familiar with Falling Reverse Discog, so yeah, I, I'm I'm hucking with it, dude. Visuals insane. The timing with the explosions, I'm yo, I'm a fan of, dude. We need that more in music videos. Dude, when I start watching Teen Wolf, yeah, when did when did fucking Ronnie Rat Key turn into a werewolf? What's up with this? Okay, I was about to say, I was about to say, I expect a beat switch whenever Tech 9 hops in here. I would not be surprised if they had kept it, but it makes sense. Mandalay Bay Hotel on a lead cane, sex chain. Falling in Reverse always been this heavy? I don't remember them being this heavy from the little bit I've listened to them. Maybe they have. 
Lava Monster just likes to sing in his free time. Yo, you frown. Sleep well, bro. Appreciate the raid again. Appreciate the sub. Have an amazing day tomorrow, dude. And sleep well. Um, dude, hell yeah. I mean, the visuals are really cool. Uh, I think it, it nails everything that it's going for, right? It's literally just like, how, I feel like they're kind of pushing like, you know, how hard can we make these breakdowns? And this will still get on Sirius XM. <laughs> like, like how, how far can we push it? Which, you know, I, I am here for. Again, I love when bands that are um, more mainstream accepted push the limits a little bit, which I, I like here. I, I know a lot of people, especially like people that are like my homies that love like hardcore and like metalcore and shit will probably not be a fan of this because it is more tuned to a mainstream audience, but... This is something that would probably exist on my playlist in, at some point, you know? It's kind of like when I listen to, like, Crown the Empire. Like, I'm not really going there for, like, crazy breakdowns, but I know, like, I like this song in particular, you know? Even though I used to be a huge Crown the Empire fan. Kind of like that. We just watched an anti-heroes movie? Yeah. Yo, what's up, Beefy? How's your night going so far, Crazy Boo? It's going great, bro. It's going great. I'm sad I got to hop off stream here in probably, like, an hour and a half, two hours. But uh, I'm doing great, bro. Um, this is sick. Always, always insane visuals from Falling Reverse. Uh, let's see. Popular monster rap with screaming breakdown. Uh, Ronald screaming with a rap breakdown. Yeah, yeah, dude. No one casually drops the heaviest track in the catalog at 7 a.m. on a random Tuesday. Okay, so it was the heaviest track in the catalog. I was about to be like, I don't remember them being this fucking heavy, especially not in the early days, you know. What good girls like bad guys type shit, you know what I'm saying? I love how Ronnie is developing a new cinematography universe with his sick hits. Yeah, that it is pretty cool. Oh, is it like a continuing story? I didn't even realize that. I haven't been that tapped in. I think I watched the popular monster music video when it dropped. Um, but I haven't watched any of the videos in between. I don't remember that one super well. It was an honor to be a part of the music production for this one. Oh, that's sick, dude. If you have X team, how many effects do you want in this clip? Ronald, yes. Are people starting to refer to him as Ronald? Ooh, video about Tom Skura. I gotta tap into this later. Anyway, sorry. Uh, your special effects are legitimately better than most movies. Yeah, this is like production. Like, movie production level. I wonder... I would love to see the budget of just how much these music videos cost. Maybe it's available somewhere online, but yeah. So, Tech 9 sent Ronnie Radke to hell to fight Alex Terrible. I love the production value of this music... Or this video so much. Yeah, it is pretty cool. It's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. I could breathe for the majority of the song. Make a move. Oh, I couldn't breathe. Sorry. <laughs> Holy shit. The way it goes from 100 to 1,000 immediately is so unexpected, but I love it. Wait, let me let me look at it. Okay, so intro. Is this? Okay, so he, he does this crazy feat. Okay. The fucking bird grabs him. Okay. Then they electrocute him. Then he's on the ground, and then and then he's he's flying through here. He's getting chased by that shit. Okay, he hops in the helicopter. He blows it up. Is this? Does he die? And then Tech Nine is God, and he goes, "Yo, go fight Alex Terrible. Go fight Alex Terrible in hell and kill him with your super power, fucking lava eyes, fire eyes. Go kill him." <laughs> And then he gets dropped down into hell. And he's like, yo, what's up, Alex Terrible? You're a lava monster. Because you got them crazy vocals. I got crazy vocals, too. Oh. And then, boom. Wait, does it hit the Ronald? Where does it hit the Ronald at? I'm missing it. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, Ronald. In the fucking whatchamacallit font, by the way. That's cool. I'm with it, bro. I'm with it, bro. I am, I am with it, brother. Pretty good. Uh, again, from like a, 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 a gatekeeping perspective, I, I don't think anybody that gatekeeps super hard like heavier music is going to fuck with this. But again, I think it would, or I think it would it will find a spot on one of my like monthly playlists. Uh, and I think it's cool, again, that they are pushing uh, boundaries for like more mainstream stuff. I, I know there is a lot of bands that do that, right? But like it's cool specifically for their, you know, fan base. 
uh, and also including Tech Nine was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I, again, I like I like the genres fusing and shit. That's just my personal opinion. I, I understand that not everybody fucking likes that shit. 